Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, today's episode will be about animation folders. Let's get into it. Okay, so when it comes to animation folders, I want to answer just a couple questions. Because if you've watched any of the other episodes in this series, you pretty much know what an animation folder is and what it does. But let's get a little bit deeper and simplistic about it. What does an animation folder do? Pretty much, once you create an animation folder by going to either animate, um, new animation layer and animation folder, once you create that, that lets the program know any layer that you put inside of here, you want it to play back in a certain order. And you'll choose that order on the timeline when it comes time. And don't forget about the shortcuts. That's control E right now, have I set. I think that is the default setting also. But pretty much that's what an animation folder does. Now, what can you put inside of an animation folder? You can put layers and you can put multiple layers inside of a folder. Now we've already done the layer part, right? We've done the layer part when we were creating the arrow and we were moving it around. Now, when you put a layer inside of an animation folder, you can use blending modes. Now we're gonna not gonna talk about blending modes in this episode just because blending modes are easier to explain when it comes to coloring something and laying color over something. But um, you can still use your blending modes. And if you use an animation folder and you got multiple layers that you wanna put inside this animation folder, but it's only one uh, drawing, you can actually put those drawings into a regular layer folder. And if you put those drawings into a regular layer folder, let me give you an example. If we take the two layers out of 2A, right? Drag them out. Let's just drag them out right here. We can create a new layer folder. Take these two images, put them inside the layer folder. We'll call this EQ. And then we'll put this inside of the animation folder that we already had here. Let me delete the one that we created. So now you have EQ. It was in 2A, these two layers, but now it's in EQ. And now I come over here on the timeline and let CSP know I want EQ here. Now it puts both of those layers inside of that folder. And it's as simple as that. The other thing that a animation folder can do is also what layers can do, and that's blending modes. Like I said, we'll get into that later though. So the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is that you can actually organize your situation with your animation folders a little bit easier by putting them inside of layer folders. So let's take a new layer folder, put them up top, trees um, and let's say let's call this arrow let's take the trees and the arrows and put them inside of this layer folder and call this tree and arrow and as easy as that so now your um, layer section isn't so cluttered. You're working on one section of animations, this is what you're working on. You don't need to see everything at once. And then when you're ready, you can just open it up and go, okay, I wanna work on the tree. Okay, I wanna work on my arrows. And it's as simple as that. I don't really need to talk about anything else because that's animation folders. Everything else is what you do inside of those animation folders. So until next time, as always, Anime life forever. I'm